Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. Some of you on Twitter were asking about the new soldering station that I bought, and so I thought I'd do a quick demo. It's got uh, soldering iron and a hot air reflow gun, which is really the reason why I bought it rather than the basic one with just the soldering iron. This is the model number. So basically what it gives you is it gives you temperature controlled soldering and temperature controlled hot air reflow gun, which is uh, really a useful thing. What do I need that for? Well, let's look over here. Here I've got some boards which are in development and unfortunately some of the resistors here are the wrong ones. So I need to be able to take those off and exchange them for the correct ones and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use the hot air reflow gun to do that. So I've set the gun to 370 degrees and 60% flow rate because I want to heat these resistors and get them off quite quickly. So instead of pick and place, it's unpick and replace. Okay, that's one side done. Faint smell of scorched wood. Okay, so that's all of those removed. Now I'm going to prepare the resistors and get some solder paste. So now I've got the solder paste out, it's in a syringe and this is the stuff. It's a leaded one because this isn't for manufacture, it's just for me messing about at home. Okay, so you need a small blob on each pad. just enough for the resistor to stick because otherwise when you start blowing the hot air it will fly away don't worry if you make a slight mess with this because you can always clean it up a bit in a minute Obviously fully commercial manufacturing uses a stencil. So that's the solder paste applied. So there's a couple of places I need to tidy up. So now I'm just going to pretend to be a pick and place machine. With a pair of tweezers you just take the resistor and plop it down into the solder paste Ideally straight and release. Just sometimes the resistor sticks to the tweezers and sometimes they go ping 
and sometimes you find them again after they go ping sometimes you don't to be honest with you these resistors are only about 1p each so I don't bother looking if I ping one I just get another out okay so that's one side done The other thing you'll notice is although they're sort of moving about a bit, what sometimes happens when you actually apply the hot air, when the solder paste starts to melt, they sometimes move and then capillarity draws them back into the right place when the solder flows. And it's quite funny. I wonder if it will happen this time and you'll be able to see what I mean. Okay, so, obviously not as fast or as accurate as the pick and place machine I've seen operating at Pimeroni, but for a human being, not too bad. So I'm gonna switch on the hot air gun now. I've changed the settings to 340 degrees, because I'm using loaded solder, and 50% flow rate. It just takes a few seconds for the heat gun to get up to, up to temperature and when it does we will apply it and you should see the solder start to flow see it melting and you, oh yeah that first resistor moved a bit they all did look at that so that's the first three done Okay, that's row one. Did you see them move and move back again? I believe it or not, I used to do this with a a Black & Decker paint stripping heat gun but it didn't have anywhere near the degree of fine control that this has and this is a luxury I'm very pleased with it so that's finished I will just flip that one round and you can have a better look at it okay you can see although it's been done by hand they're not too bad that one's a little bit crooked but considering it was pick and place by tweezers not very bad and it hasn't made the board a nasty color like it would if it was did it with a soldering iron you'd have all sorts of scorch marks all over the place and it's really good it works so you could use one of these to do all sorts of intricate work on any kind of circuit board really good good piece of kit this was alex eames for raspi.tv thank you for watching